Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of the Morning Sun Minute. I'm Erica Francis. For those of you who couldn't catch last week's game results, here's a quick 60 second recap on how our CMU athletes performed the past seven days, plus a look ahead on who the Maroon and Gold will face next. Our football team is 4-3 and three on the season after their huge win over NIU this past Saturday, 34-17. The Chippewas will play host to Ball State today at 3.30 p.m. at Kelly Short Stadium. Last Sunday, Northwestern slashed our field hockey team's three-game winning streak with a score of 4-0. Yesterday afternoon, the ladies picked up from that loss with a win over Missouri State and will look to add another win to their season against St. Louis this Sunday at 1. After three consecutive losses, our volleyball team beat Bowling Green this past Thursday 3-1 at home. The Chips play at home again tonight at 7.30 against Miami of Ohio. Admission to tonight's volleyball game will be free to the public. CMU Soccer returned home yesterday after a long road trip but were unable to get a win. That brings the team to 3-11-1 overall and 1-6 on the conference as they head into Sunday's game with Akron. That game will be here in Mount Pleasant at 1 o'clock at the CMU Soccer Complex. The soccer team will be home again for the last time this season when they take on Ohio on October 24th at 3 p.m. And that's all for this week's edition of the Morning Sun Minute. For more sports updates, visit CMUTiboas.com or follow CMU Athletics on Twitter and Facebook. We wish the best of luck to all of our CMU athletes this week in their upcoming games. I'm Erica Francis for the Chippewa Sports Network. Fire up, Chips!